Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make an absolutely beautiful no-bake Baileys cheesecake. It's pretty simple. All you're going to need is about 250 grams of biscuits and about 100 grams of butter or margarine. You're going to need about 600 grams of full fat cream cheese and 200 milliliters of full fat double or heavy cream. You're also going to need some chocolate. I've got white chocolate shaved here, about 60 to 70 grams. And I've got about half a cup, which is 65 grams of Baileys, but you will need more than that. I've also got 100 grams of icing or confectioner's sugar. And all you need to do, this is like so simple. You crush your biscuits in the food processor and you'll melt your butter in a pan or the microwave. And you add the butter to the crushed biscuits. Now, be careful when you're adding the butter. I wouldn't add it all at once. Just add it until you get to a really nice wet consistency. But if you feel like you've added too much butter, just add some more crushed biscuits. And all you do is you press it into your pan. I like to press up the sides on some of my cheesecakes, but if you don't want to, you can just use this amount to make just a nice thick base at the bottom. And then I'm just going to push down on the edges, just around the outside of the pan, to make sure that I get a sort of neater finish. But that's completely optional and not something that you need to do. To make the cheesecake filling, all you need to do is put your cream cheese, which is at room temperature, into a bowl. And you're going to mix it either by hand or with a processor or a whisk until it's quite smooth. Then you add your Baileys. I would start with about half a cup, which is 65 millilitres, but... I do add more than that, but you just need to be careful of the texture because the more alcohol that you add, the softer the cheesecake will be. So you're already adding quite a lot of cream cheese, which should stiffen it up, but as soon as you've added that Baileys, it's going to soften again. I've added my confectioner's sugar. Again, this is the taste, but I would say start with about 100 grams and go from there. I think it'll be fine, but if you want it sweeter, you can definitely add more. I've just mixed this all in now so it's completely smooth. In a separate bowl, I've already mixed my double cream. So you're just going to add your already whisked double cream and stir it around. Stirring will just make sure that you've got everything from the bottom so it's really well incorporated and there are no streaks or bits that are undermixed. I chilled the base in the fridge while I was making the mixture and all you need to do is just put it in a little bit at a time and push it down with the back of the spoon. The reason that we're going to do that is because we don't want to end up with really large air pockets and that's quite easy if you put the whole lot in all at once and then you push it down it's quite easy to miss those air pockets and it just doesn't look as nice when you cut it so it doesn't affect the taste or anything I just think it's better for it to be completely smooth with no holes and then just to make sure that the edges look nice and it just makes it a bit easier to get it out of the tin if you just wipe off any excess around the outside just a damp piece of kitchen paper you'll just find that it comes out a little bit nicer but it's not an absolute must i shaved a bar of chocolate so you literally take a knife or you can use a grater and you just pull it down the side of the chocolate and that's how you get chocolate shavings so i've done that over the top i've used white chocolate but you can absolutely use dark or milk for this all of it tastes really really good but white chocolate it just adds a bit of extra sweetness and you won't need to add any extra confectioner's sugar when you're making the cheesecake mixture. Pop the cheesecake in the fridge overnight or for at least a couple of hours and just cover it and keep it away from strong smells which is why I've covered it in cling film. To make it easy to release from the pan I've got a mug which I've upturned and I'm just going to very slowly slide my cheesecake down it and it just means that I can easily release the sides from the base without having any difficulties. This cheesecake cuts and serves really beautifully. As I said if you added loads of Baileys when you're making the cheesecake mixture it does end up a slightly softer cheesecake and I don't think that's a bad thing to be honest but if you want a stiffer cheesecake you can add a little bit less of the Baileys and you can pour Baileys or serve it as an accompaniment. So thank you very much for watching I really really hope that you've enjoyed this video and I will catch you in the next one please don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it.